Many people believe that if we don't use high technology in farming, we cannot produce enough food to feed population of the world. So we feel we're very successful when we know how to use irrigation, when we use machine, when we discover how to use chemical in farming. We use pesticide, we use herbicide. We can produce more than the past. That make people believe that we can produce even more if we develop more technology. And now we develop GMO technique, the way to develop seeds to make it resist to drought, to disease, to think more. So it makes most of people believe that if we develop more in scientific way with the high technology, we will have enough food to feed the population of the world, which increase very fast. But I see things opposite with most of people. A lot of researcher, a lot of academic people, a lot of politicians, a lot of business people always say that if we don't do that, we don't have enough food to feed people for sure. But as a farmer, I have been doing farming more than 30 years. My experience is opposite with what people believe. Because whenever we use high technology of farming, the cost, the money that we invest in farming always higher too. And whenever we use high technology of farming, like in America, people proud of themselves so much that one person can produce so much from their farming technique. But how many people think about how much you invest in that thing? When you look at the way, the new way of farming, they do farming. They use a lot of money to invest in that. Machine, big machine, so big, so expensive. They use a lot of fossil fuel so much fossil fuel they use every year. So we use a lot of money, we use a lot of natural resources to produce this much of corn or soybean or wheat. We feel like we are very successful about this, very successful. But we did not think about the cost. So if we develop the farming in this way, use more high technology, use more high technology in scientific way to make GMO seed, to use more machine, use more thing. It will make the price, the real cost of the food higher and higher and higher. How many local people can do that? So not many people can do that. If you do that, you have to be in debt. And in the same time, only big company can do that, can do that way of farming. And then when we produce a lot, but the cost is always high, so we cannot sell it very low price. Most of people cannot buy that expensive food to eat. The way we solve the problem now is the government cannot let the price of the food go high like that because a lot of poor people are going to make a problem. They will protest. They will fight to make a living. So the government in many countries have to use tax money to subsidize this farmer. 
to make them alive. Those subsidized money is not a lot. It's just to make them survive in many countries. Even in America, a lot of farmers, they got a lot of subsidies, but it's not enough, it's not cover their expense in their life. So many farmers commit suicide in America, in many countries too. So when, this, when they said that if we don't use high technology in farming, if we don't use GMO seed, we will have not enough food to feed the population. Actually, it's opposite. The more we use high technology of farming, we will create more food problem. We will not have enough food to feed people. Because of high tech is high cost, high tech in scientific way is more money in that thing. This is one part of it that will make people have not enough food to eat in the future if we keep going in this direction. But the second thing is the main cause of food problem in the world is because of we have a few companies who want to monopolize the food the whole world. This part is the main cause of food shortage in the world. We don't have enough food to eat because of somebody want to monopolize it. Because the, a few company that they own the seed, own pattern of the seed, their own chemical, their own fertilizer, and they own the market. They own the food business. So when they own the whole circle of food, they train people to eat only what they own it. We have so much food on this earth. If we eat, the same way that we used to eat in 30 years ago or 50 years ago, we always have more than food to eat. Even we have more population than now, four times or five times, we cannot eat all of it. It's so much food on this earth. Because in the past, we eat so many varieties. Only in Thailand alone, we eat vegetable more than 100 varieties per year per person. We eat fresh water fish, more than 100 varieties of fresh water fish in one year. We have so many kinds of pigs, chickens, many varieties of them. But now, when the food were monopolized by a few companies, they train us to eat only one kind of pigs the whole country. Only one kind of chicken the whole country. And we eat less and less vegetable. Now people in the city eat less than five variety of vegetable all year round or all their life. So we eat less and less and less variety. And all the variety that we eat were controlled by company. So we need to grow a lot of a few things to feed people. When some of them have problem, we have problem the whole country. Like now in Thailand, the pig, they have African swine flu. It kill a lot of pigs all over the country. And the price of pork rising up very fast. And people suffer all over the country. Only pigs have problem. We suffer the whole country. Many restaurants, many business, they lost their money because they have no pork to serve, to use in their business. Too expensive. Many people cannot have food to eat because there's no pork. So this is the way we train people to eat less variety. And then those variety were controlled by a few company. 
This is the cause of food shortage in the world. We don't have enough food to eat. We are starving in the middle of food. There are so many things around us. Many banana, many papaya, many fish, many different kinds of fish, many birds that we can eat. There are so many things to eat. But new generation were trained to eat only pork, chicken, eggs, and beef. So we cannot eat anything else anymore because we don't know how to eat them. And we never eat them before. So we don't want to eat them. This is a problem in the world now. You can see that everywhere, when we have economic problem, when we have war, when we have some disease, we start to have no food to eat. This is very insecure. This is so sad that humans live on the most fertile planet, but no food to eat. It's so sad. This is the main cause of the problem. It's not about we lack of high technology. It's not about we lack of money. It's not because of we lack of gym or seed. Because of the way we think, the way we train ourselves to limit ourselves that we can survive only with chicken, pork, and eggs, and meat. Only. We don't know how to eat anything else because the company trained us to eat only this. This is a problem. So this is what I see. And why we need to use a lot of money in farming? Now, many farmers said, if I have no money, I cannot start farming. I cannot do farming. You need to use money. With no money, you become handicapped. You cannot do anything. This is the way they train us to believe, train us to think like this. So we can rely on them 100%. But actually, we have a lot of experience with no money. We can produce more than people who have money. We have a small piece of land. We grow so many varieties in there. We grow trees. We grow fruit trees. We grow vegetables. We grow roots. We grow jam. We grow wild vegetables. We have everything in there, in a small area. Every season, we have different kind of vegetables, different kind of food. When we grow like this, we don't need a lot of money to put in there. Very small amount of money. For example, we start with the forest. We plant trees. And then to have the trees, forest, it doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't need a lot of labor to work. Because when we plant the trees or fruit trees, we just cut the grass every two months in rainy season. So one year, we cut the grass for them only three or four times only. After three years, they grow by themselves. They cover the, so the whole thing. We don't need to cut the grass anymore because the grass cannot grow because the shade of the trees cover them. And in the same time, all the trees drop their leaf on the ground. Their dry branches drop on the ground. They turn to compost. They make the food for themselves. Whenever we grow many varieties together, they take care of themselves. They grow their food. They produce food for themselves. They heal themselves when they get sick. They produce a lot. Our job is just only harvest them and eat them and use them. With this technique, humans work so little. But we did not develop this technique. We think it's too old style. It's not civilized. We need to have high technology. It doesn't matter how much money we put in there. We just want to have one kind of crops grow very well and produce a lot. That's what we call successful way of farming. But when they look at the forest, they think, how can you make money from this forest? How can you get food from this forest? But from us, 
we got everything from that small forest. When we want yam, when we want wild roots, wild taro, we just go there and dig it up. What we want. When we want vegetable, there's some vegetable in there. When we want house, if we want, if we want to build a house, we just go there and cut the wood, cut bamboo, build a house from it. If we want some tools, some medicine, and everything's in there. That's the way we used to live before. So if we go back to develop, to start to develop from our old way of living, to make it easier, better, more diversity, and make it more sustainable by make a good design, we will have everything with less input, but higher output. Nature is miracle. If we learn how to live with nature, how to use the character of the nature, we survive easily. But whenever we don't believe in nature, we believe in science and high technology only. We need to work a lot. We need to have labs. We need to have machine. We need to have a lot of money. We have to have specialists, have researcher. So many things we need to do that part. So from my experience, I think I believe that if we keep going in the high technology of farming, we will stop to date. Because high tech means high investment. But if we go to low tech, go to appropriate technology, whatever we can do it ourselves, we can fix it ourselves, that's more sustainable. We don't need GMOC. We don't need patent law. We don't need anything of that. We can develop our seed in the simple way. We can produce the same yield with GMO seed easily, with less input. I think we need to come back to think about new way of development, new way of progress, not only money and high tech. We can develop in the way with less money and appropriate tech technology. This way, cheaper, easier, and everybody can do it. But high technology and science, mainly for monopolizing, not for people. They monopolize everything. So, there are many ways we can produce food. There are many ways we can survive easily on this earth. Just observe and experiment and we can learn more how to go to the way that more relax. I think we cannot expect that government will do this for us. We cannot expect that some business will do this for us because this way it doesn't make a lot of profit. It's too easy. You cannot make a lot of money from it. So nobody interests in it. We have to practice. We have to experiment. We have to do it ourselves. Now many people discover easily the way to grow food easily. So come back. Look back to the past and learn from that part and develop from that to make it easier, better. It will be easier for us. No burden for anybody. And it will be more sustainable.